morning everyone it's Paul here from Viking Life on this snowy freezing morning and I am going to work on my bike thankfully the, these roads aren't too bad it's I, I don't know how that's managed to do that but uh, yes there's quite a fair bit of snow around this morning and big reds going out he doesn't mind and neither do I as I say it's not too bad and the temperature is supposed to get up to 10 degrees today so as you can imagine the heating grips are on full welly People are scraping the cars off this morning. Look at the snow. <laughs> Excellent, eh? But you can see the main roads aren't too bad at all. Now, I've, I've got my RST winter gear on, but I've also put my fleece on, my Honda fleece. Yes, the heating grips are only on three again, so it's not too bad. I'm sorry for if that sun's glaring in your face because it isn't half mine. So I've come I've set off at what is it, ten past seven. And I'm gonna have a nice slow and I mean a slow ride, I ain't even taking a chance today, because you just don't know. The weather's bad enough and I wanna keep big red upright. So everything's not rushed. There's no sharp turning of the wheels, no no sharp accelerations. Nothing. Well, I've got some uh, news on the... I've spoken often about this Shark Evil Line 3. Now, I love, absolutely love the design of it. Because it's the uh, one of only a few that you're, you're legally allowed to ride in the open face position and the closed face it doubles up as both helmets um, and that did buy for that reason because I don't particularly like full face helmets I feel a little bit claustrophobic uh, I mean I, I do ride in, in with it in the full face but still I don't I'm not fond of it if the weather's really bad then like absolutely hammering it down then yes I'll put it in the closed face position but this helmet, as I've said on many occasions, is not the best in winter. In rain, cold conditions. Man, it's not f it's faring a bit better this morning. Look at this, look! <laughs> and, uh, because he actually, the, the water gets in on the inside of the uh, visor. So, you can imagine it's getting water on the inside of the, the visor, it's getting water on the outside of the visor it's also steaming up on the inside of the visor it's not good at all yes it's minus one this morning that's registering that and I don't normally ride in these conditions well, especially if there's snow about but as I said the uh, the main roads are all right anyway getting back to the helmet so I haven't been happy with the uh, shark helmet I really haven't, it's sort of, it's been dangerous to ride at times and I thought no, nah. and you can't fit a pin lock to these, and now the actual visor itself is meant to be anti-fog, but that only lasts two minutes really, do you know what I mean, and after two, you know, after, after the first few rides it's gone. So and then it started steaming up, so I couldn't see bugger all again. It's like a winter wonderland, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're hardy riders up here, up north. We don't mind a bit of uh, frost, bit of snow. Nice steady rides, we're not rushing. Hence why I set off early this morning. Look at this white over
nice and steady so what I've done is I've actually purchased a new helmet it's an LS2 Valiant 2 it's the second generation of the Valiant helmet now the first Valiant helmet was an absolute lifesaver for a lot of people and uh, a very good design uh, but there was a few issues uh, such as it was a hard job to get the visor off if you wanted to change it blah 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 and uh, different other things but the listen to the customers who actually bought them and they've sorted those issues out now the second generation of this helmet is so much better now I have ordered it it is expected by no later than Wednesday so I shall do an unboxing of this and show you this helmet and then I will do a, a, a review of riding it because the first thing I'm going to do is put in the pin lock and obviously then I need to set up my um, comms and camera kit and everything like that on the helmet but uh, yeah absolutely brilliant helmet so it's a similar sort of style to the one I have and I shall be riding it with the open face but now it has the pin lock which this is one of those pin locks that actually cover the majority of the visor not a tiny bit you get some pin locks on cheaper elements that only cover a little bit of the eye line whereas this one actually covers the majority of the visor the chin bar has also been designed so in no way does it ever come into contact uh, when lifting it over the top or back down it never comes into the co in contact with the actual visor so you don't get any scuffs it's a complete uh, game changer for me and it will become my main helmet and this helmet that uh, I have now I shall keep for the wife I'll fit comes to it and everything like that so she can talk to me when we actually eventually get out on a bike ride together hopefully she'll enjoy it see what I mean about these roads aren't too bad yes there's a bit of salt down on the road yes your bike's going to get mucky but you can wash your bloody bike you know it is, it, it is something that does happen so it's no big deal no biggie at all I'm really looking forward to bringing that helmet to you you know show you where it is I've got it in the matte titanium I was offered various different other colours but uh, for the same price which are normally more expensive but I'd made the choice on the matte titanium so I said to the fella thank you very kindly for your kind offers but uh, I'll stick to the one I've, I've ordered please I never ever second guessed the one I've ordered I ordered it for a reason it's because I wanted that colour I didn't want the other colours and as nice as it was because they were a little bit more expensive and that's only purely on the colour and I thought no I don't, I don't want it I'm not interested and there was a jeans titanium it's called jeans titanium and uh, too bloody fancy for me and uh, it's not where I want so no I'm not, I'm not interested in it was more blingy than hotels and I don't do bling it's purely about practicality not the looks I don't care what it looks like as long as it does a good job and if it does the good job and serves me really well then that's it that it's sold on me I'll, I, I'm quite happy with it I am going to get out on a ride uh, this Saturday coming and meet a, a, a very special person a very special friend I won't say who but suffice to say that I'm looking forward to that immensely and we'll leave it at that but I shall be bringing you along the way I will be recording and you will see a video of that day
I know one thing you father just started out riding especially in this kind of weather my little bum would have been nipping like that but uh, not anymore and it's not that I'm complacent it's just that uh, I think I know a little bit better how to ride in these conditions because I do I, like as I say I ride all year round and it doesn't half stand you in good stead it keeps your little riding skills topped up to the max you're not a fresh faced Louis coming back out after a long winter break yes the full winter gear has gone on this morning because it is as I say it's uh, minus one oh, I'll have to give this bike a good bloody wash it's going to be up to the eyes in muck and salt but for me that's part of the pleasure he's washing and polishing and looking after and maintaining this bike you could be presented with a problem on your bike and uh, you get yourself in your garage and you sort it out it's part of the pride of owning a motorbike come on pals what they've got reactions of a striking slug been sat on green for 30 seconds <laughs> here we go again there you go mate when I was talking about eating grips in my other video I, I, a lot of the blokes were saying you know there's, there's when you get cold you become distracted and it is such a true thing you do you lose your concentration because your body is freezing your hands are frozen yeah, it's not good I think you need your wits about you on a motorbike you certainly do Look, there's ice there it's just you and your body against one of those things and or the road you know you need to have your wits about you so the last thing you want to do is to be get cold hands and things like that or a cold core and I can't waffle can I folks eh There's nothing better than a good waffle in the morning well the shops are opening up today the hairdressers there'll be a lot of air uh, <laughs> getting cut off today a lot of dyes getting used yeah the pubs could open as long as the, well they could only serve outside well what I'll do is I'll leave this one here folks because there's no point waffling on anymore and it's just a quick short one a little bit of an update so I'll say bye for now folks I've been Paul from Biking Life bye for now Bye!